Hello again, Richard. What would you do to save humankind? There's a handsome tortoise down in Ecuador who really did pull, pull out all the stops to save his species. He sure did. And he probably had a lot of fun doing it, Erica. I want you to meet Diego the tortoise. He's being released back into the wild after possibly saving his entire species. Erica, he's credited with fathering 800 descendants since the 1960s. He's been busy. Oh, my. He began his promiscuous run when he was put in a breeding program some 50 years ago. Erica, he's just over 100 years old, but he's showing no signs of slowing his swinging ways down uh, after the uh, busy half century. He's going back to his, his native area, but he's still going to continue to make nice with the ladies. And the uh, wildlife experts are happy about that. He's saving the species. I'm sure, he's, a lot of fun. I'm sure he's happy about it, too, uh, single-handedly saving a species. He's doing it for the species. I'm sure he is. He's yeah. having a grand old time at over 100 years old. It's quite something. Good for him. Everybody has a story of someone going above and beyond to win their heart. But, Richard, would a trip to space impress you? It would, but I think I'm out of the running for this one, Erica. There is a Japanese billionaire who has already paid for a trip around the moon, a slingshot around the moon. This is him here. He's uh, Yuzaka Mizawa, uh, paid SpaceX to do a little circle around the, around the moon in about two or three years' time. He's going to take six artists with him to inspire them to create art, but he also planned to take his girlfriend, however they broke up, Erica. And so the 44-year-old billionaire, he has launched an online appeal looking for a female life partner, as he puts it, to accompany him on his trip around the moon. Applicants are asked to provide their height, job, hobbies, special skills, selling points, their impression of Mazawa, and a photo of themselves. And I guess he's going to pick the lucky candidate to go up there and circle the, the moon. Well, I think metaphorically, we always say, fly me to the moon. It's so romantic. <laughs> but literally, maybe it's not as romantic that we, uh, as we may think. If you don't like him and you're out there in outer space, there's not much you can do about it. That's so you it. better make sure you're, you're on the up and up with him before you take off to, to the moon, Erica. All or nothing. <laughs> All right, forget about a trip to space. Many men are turning to another fashion trend to uh, impress. Nail art. Look at this. What do you got? Do you like that? It's interesting. I don't know what's on his, <laughs> what's on his hands there. Yes, yeah, celebs like Harry Styles, ASAP Rocky, Machine Gun Kelly, they're sporting nail art. It's the in thing in 2020 for men. And we're talking about some intricate designs, as you can see, everything from smiley faces to written messages. Uh, this type of nail art starts around 50 bucks, but can go up to 500, depending on the polish and the type of intricacy of the design. And paint aside, the experts say men from all industries now, they're beginning to flaunt immaculate manicures. This is the in thing for guys, so... Maybe I go. I gotta get a manicure. Put the man back in manicure. I think you should. Well, if you enjoy it, uh, then by all means, go for it. I have a lot of fun with nail art as well. But what would you put on your nails? Is there a color what, that you would? What do you think? I'd have to be a. Uh, a uh, it's in my Rogers contract to put a, the 680 logo. I think, Erica. <laughs> on Good my, idea. Uh, nails. Good be idea. Safe with that one. All right. Thanks for joining us, Richard. See you, Erica. <laughs>